Thanks, Rayan. How's it, Damien? Um, just want to start off uh, asking you um, about your experience in Europe over the last couple of years playing for Munster and, and how much you think that helps the team, um, you know, analyzing and approaching playing, uh, obviously, a team that's comprised of different different unions from up north. Yeah, it's been good. Um, I think personal, personally wise for me, it's been a good experience. Obviously, um, there's a lot of uh, different competitions uh, in Europe itself. And um, yeah, and I know a lot of the guys now are playing in the British Irish line. So it, it's it's been good for me to get a taste against them and, and see uh, what the rugby is like in Europe. Um, but yeah, I've, I've really loved it. I've enjoyed it. Obviously, the weather is very tough. And that was one thing to get used to for me. But um, other than that, yeah, I love Munster. I love Limerick. Um, great people. I mean, it's a great club as well. And um, yeah, I've, like I said, I've learned a lot. And um, I've tried to uh, explain to the guys what they try and do a bit different um, and compared to what we try and do here in South Africa. So, um, you know, it's, it doesn't mean that we will change the way we want to play rugby, um, we will still try and stick to our structures and, and stick to our strengths. And um, yeah, but other than that, it's been it's been a great experience, and I've I've really enjoyed it over the past year. Thank you, Dukes, and uh, we welcome again Matthew Pierce from SuperSport. Thanks, Rowan. Afternoon, Damien. I just want to ask you about you know how much of a shock it was to your system, uh, you know the freakish nature of of your accident and how relieved you feel now to have put in uh, two performances uh, in the last week where you've been able to test yourself physically and and come through unscathed. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I want to chat too much about what happened. Obviously, it did happen, and I'm. Uh, just grateful that it didn't end up being any worse than what it is. Obviously, uh, thinking of like uh, thinking of a guy like RG, I think he got the worst of it at the end of the day, and I still feel very sorry for him. Um, he's gone through a lot at the moment, so um, yeah, I, I think I, I got lucky. Um, I'm just glad it wasn't worse. But with you also saying that, I'm just glad I got to play rugby again. Um, I think after it happened, uh, I did go into a bit of shock and obviously I was in the hospital on morphine and stuff and I thought it was a joke at the time, but obviously once it wore, wore off and the pain started to kick in, I think then it really struck me how bad it, it was and how much worse it could have been and, and how lucky I was. So, yeah, I'm very grateful that I got through some good game minutes over the past week. Obviously, it was tough to play two games in a week. I haven't done that in quite a long time, but... Um, yeah, it was good. I think um, everyone that played, obviously, Saturday's game was quite tough um, emotionally afterwards, but um, I think it was a good lesson for us, um, not just uh, not just losing that game, but also putting our, our body and our minds through the two physical battles in one week. And um, I'm just glad that there were no bad injuries and we all got through it. Um, nicely and uh, the bodies are feeling a lot better now this week and um, I'm grateful that we actually have a week off before the next game so <laughs> um, but yeah it was good and I'm, I'm happy with where I am at the moment again and I'm just grateful to be playing rugby again. And in the context of the, the lack of preparation time that you've had uh, Damien how, how important uh, to have this backline division exactly the same the same seven that started the Rugby World Cup final 21 months ago? Yeah, it makes a massive difference. I think um, after after what happened um, to myself and RG, um, I think if, if there were a lot of changes in the squad, I think it would be quite tough. Um, but, thankfully it's, uh, but thankfully it's not. Um, and yeah, like, it's just, it was just nice playing again. But obviously, um, we haven't played together since the World Cup, um, but we know our relationships on the field and off the field are so very good with uh, not just the guys that are playing this weekend, or the guys that are starting on the bench, but the guys um, that are missing out as well. So, yeah, that, it has been great that there is still a lot of consistency in the squad, and I think it makes a massive difference, and uh, it almost allows us to be ourselves and um, almost try and just fit in naturally again. Thanks, Damien. Thanks, Rao.
Thank you, Matthew Pierce from Supersport, and uh, we say good afternoon to Jerry Thornley. Thanks, Ryan, for letting me ask a question. Hi, Damien. Apologies for Renard. It's another question for Damien. Um, you were part of the uh, South Africa A team's defence just coming up to half time and reduced to 14 players and then reduced to 13 players. And it's very much a kind of a, a springbok trait that you defend your line with almost manic intensity, a source of great pride to you. Is that just in your DNA, do you think, as rugby players, or is it something you also work very strongly on the training, or what? How can you explain it? Um, I don't think it's just us. I think every rugby player is like that. I think if you want to play international level, um, obviously, um, growing up as a rugby player, not just myself, but you you obviously bring that one dimension of your game, that uh, or skill set of the game, or, or work ethic, or or physicality. Some guys have that all in one, um, but you try and bring that, and you try and be yourself, and you try and achieve that in, in the highest level of rugby. But I think, um, yeah, once the once the pressure's on, um, and you're on the back foot, I think that's that's when you need to stick up your hand and. and I'm not saying try and be Superman, but um, you just got to put your body in line and work as hard as you can. So I think um, we will always work that hard. Um, I think there are a lot of other test teams that work as hard or just as hard as well. And I think they would have the same desire to to try and defend a try. But um, yeah, but it was it was exceptional defence um, with 30 men on the field. Obviously, starting the second half with 30 men again, we were under the pump again. But um, I thought. We scrambled nicely, or not nicely, but we tried our best, and thankfully we only conceded, I think, seven points in those uh, 10, 11 minutes when we were down to 30 men. So, you know, uh, like we're all going to make mistakes, and we're all going to do things wrong in the field. Um, I think um, it's not just natural. I think we want to work for each other and make sure that um, we want to leave everything out there on the field for each other and, and, and work as hard as we can. Thank you, Damien. Thank you. And we're going to conclude the section with Damien. And uh, the next question then will come from Nick Heath again. I actually have one more question for Damien, if I'm allowed, Ryan. Yes, you can go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Damien, I, I just wanted to ask what you make of the Lions' options that they could have across that centre. Obviously, it's a week of trying to predict the unpredictable, but there are obviously different ways that the Lions can play. What do you make of, of the options they have available to them and what would you prefer to face? Um, I can't really say what I prefer to face. Obviously, it's not my choice, but um, yeah, I think I think it's world class. I think obviously they all play uh, at test match intensity and test level rugby, so it's it's... Uh, it's quite hard to say. I know uh, Bundy is quite he's quite physical. I would say he's probably the most physical of of the centre pairings there. But um, uh, yeah, Robbie Henshaw is also a great player, and and um, and so is Johnny. I mean, Owen Farrell and and stuff. But um, yeah, I, I, I can't say who I'd rather want to play against. Um, I think they all pose a different threat. I think on the day it's going to be just as tough whoever you play against anyway. So um, they're all world class players, and I'm just looking forward to not just the challenge of playing uh, against one of the centres or two of the centres. I'm looking forward to the challenge of playing against the Lions. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Damien. If I can ask you just to be seated, please, and so, so we can uh, proceed with our next section. And um, now our questions will be posed to Reinhard Alstedt. And uh, Tinas van Staden, you have the first question to Reinhard. 